Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our urban worm bag. It was about four days ago that I put in a, a, a bin that was probably 80% composted, or maybe even a little bit more, and threw it in the bin with some cardboard and some food, and we're going to take a look and see if it's starting to dry out a little bit. The contents of that bin were quite moist, and see if it needs anything else. I also have some food ready to go, I have some water to add. I think I've only opened it up once and maybe thrown in some coffee grounds, but that's about it. So let's go to the bin and take a look at how this is doing. So here's our bin. We're going to unzip this right here. And it looks like it's moving along. So this is the one little coffee ground that wrapper that I threw in there. So it's pretty moist, actually. It's a little bit more moist than I thought it would be. I didn't know if it would dry out at all. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch to gloves here. I'm worried about these metal tines possibly puncturing this plastic. And uh, I'd hate to ru ruin this that quickly, you know, by doing something uh, as ridiculous as that, when I could just throw on a pair of gloves and... Uh, move on. So that's one thing I'm going to say. I don't know how tough this material is on the outside, this plastic right here. So we're just going to dig through with some gloves. Now this is actually starting to dry out a bit. It's pretty heavy. As you can tell, this stuff is uh, starting to break apart a little bit actually and so as it soaks up into things. So there's a banana peel right here. Still not broken down. I'm looking for some worms in here to see if I can find some. Oh, they're all in the center here, it looks like. And it's a little bit warmer in the center here. And that's where all the food is, too. So you can see, I'm going to just dig this up a little bit. Whole bunch of worms in here with this food that's still being eaten. Um, so there's, I don't know if I really need to add any food in. But it's, uh, it's definitely cooler on the outside compared to the middle here. So I might add a little bit more food and see how this does. Uh... It's not real moist in here, but it's not real dry either, at least in some areas like this area right here is kind of dry because it's there's nothing that's fallen in there. So what we're going to do here is I, I think I am going to add a little bit of moisture to this just to kind of get it, make it a little bit more moist. I'm not seeing any bugs in here, which is good, even though there's a banana peel that was like right on top. So this is keeping out the bugs. Now I've got a spray bottle here that is filled with water that I'm just going to use to kind of moisten, moisten the top here a little bit. And this might be something you need to do with this bin a little bit more often because it's a, it's more airy and it's more of a flow through bin. Now you don't want it soaking wet. I just want to get it so it's in, just a, some weight on the top to hold everything in. I haven't had to do this on my bins in a while because uh, most of mine are sealed containers essentially with holes on the sides. So I don't really have to add water to them too often, but that's that's a good amount of water right here. Almost looks like a piece of plastic right there. I don't know where that came from. Oh, this is on a fruit or a piece of fruit or something, but we'll see if that'll break down a little bit more in here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, I'm gonna add quite a bit more food to this, I think. I think we're gonna we're gonna do what a lot of people are gonna do here. Um, I have already a decent worm population here, but a lot of people have way more food than really these bins are meant to hold. So I'm gonna throw in an entire container here of watermelon that's been sitting in my freezer since the summer because I've had so much so many fruits and vegetables. We're gonna just dump that right on top. This is a uh, looks like some spinach in it, watermelon, banana peels, and some strawberries. So we're gonna throw that in on top here. And this uh is gonna thaw out and slowly work its way down into the bin. Now we're gonna just we're gonna do a test here I think. I think we're gonna just leave this on top. No nothing covering it. And we're going to see if the worms work their way up into it and if they eventually bring this down in. Uh, so maybe come back in about a week or two weeks and we'll see if this is still just sitting on top like this. We'll see if there's any bugs. I'm hoping that there aren't any bugs in here, which is part of the reason of having these zippers and everything is that I'm hoping bugs can't get into this. So that's how we're going to leave it for now. So far, it looks like it's working. Uh, it definitely can have more worms than my other bins. I mean, this is this surface area is almost double the size, so I'm not surprised that it can have more worms in here. So it looks like right now we're a little bit low on the worm count, but we're gonna see if we can build that up through adding more food, more bedding eventually, maybe next time we'll add some more bedding if this is starting to get a little bit too moist, or possibly more water if it's starting to dry out. So this is our, as I said, this is sort of a sample of how this bin is gonna work, and I just wanna get a feeling for what happens once we get a really full bin going and you know the flow through section so you know taking out the bottom part underneath where we unzip 
and we check to see if any water comes out with it or if it's just uh, just just the compost. We kind of mash in the sides, get the compost to come out, and then it works really well. well so we're going to check that out. That's what I'm trying to get to. So right now, four days in, it looks like it's still working. We're going to zip this closed again. And we're going to see, come back in maybe a week or two weeks and see how it looks. Uh, again, please like and subscribe my videos. And again, this is the Urban Worm Bag from Urban Worm Company. And if you are interested in buying one of these, I have a link in the uh, description. Thank you.